It's going to show you the very first product ordered in your job. In this case, it's a teammate. It shows you the image numbers being used. In this case, the individual and the team shot and the product offered 8x10 teammate. All text fields that are on the teammate or whatever product it is should be filled in automatically from your records that you typed in earlier. On this, you will want to do your cropping. You can crop your individual and your team separately using your scroll wheel on your mouse. You can crop and drag wherever you want it to be. Center your team shots, zoom them in if you need to. Once you've got your cropping set on this, on this image, you hit next, and it's going to take you to the next thing ordered, in this case a button. You can see the name is already in. You can change your zoom separately on every product in the order, so you can crop your buttons different than your teammates, different than your trader cards, and hit next. You'll also see there's an auto button here. This auto button should not be used unless you're very good with the composing of your prints when you're shooting. Uh, if you shoot somebody off-center on one image and not off-center on the next and you use auto, you're not going to get consistent cropping throughout your job. So it's, the safest bet is to use the next button. Look at every single product ordered, crop it individually, and go on. If you are very strict when you're shooting and you compose all images exactly the same, auto will work well for you. What you do is you go through you check the crop on one of every product ordered in the job. Once you're sure you've hit everything once at least, then you can hit auto and it will auto apply that same crop to everything else in the job. If it comes up to something you never have checked yet, it will stop and allow you to check that and then hit auto again to continue on. But again, unless you're very strict with your composition of the frame, do not use the auto button. It can get you into big trouble. So we'll continue on cropping each image as we go and hitting next and I'm gonna breeze through this now pretty fast you can see this held the crop from the first teammate but it's not quite right for this image so we'll zoom her out and then hit next again and same thing for the button she was shot tighter so it showed her in tighter so we have to pull her back out and then next and next and so on and just keep going through And now we're at the very last image. Once you've got your last image cropped the way you want it, hit next one more time. You can see here it says 13 of 13. That's our last product. Hit next one more time and you'll come to a new window here that pops up. says add items to order. Click that and it's going to bring you to your review, or, to your review order screen. On this screen is your last chance to catch any issues. If you scroll through and you find a problem here, you need to clear your order exit the screen, go back into records, fix the issue, and start reviewing again and review all. Unfortunately, that is the only way to fix order errors in this software. Um, if you make a mistake, try to fix it in the record screen. If you fix it in the record screen, it will save you a lot of time. You'll only have to review the order one time. If you find a mistake while you're reviewing or here on this screen, you do have to go back and start reviewing again from scratch after you fix the order in records. Once you've scrolled through, you're happy with everything. On the bottom half of the screen is where you select all of your services for the job. Studio Reference is just that. It's just for you, so you can type something in there that will help you recognize the job. You don't have to use it if you don't want. Die Cutting is a free service. You can have your wallets die cut or not, either one. D die Cut is the default. Additional per image options for color correction. You can use overall color correction, individual color correction, or do not color correct, whichever one you prefer. Remember, do not color correct. We do not even look at the images, so make sure you calibrate your monitor and you've run tests before you attempt to do a do not color correct job. Under special offers, if there's ever a coupon code for Express Events, you would just check that and enter your coupon code here. Archive order to DVD. If you want it color corrected images archived to a DVD and sent back to you check this box and we will send one to you paper surface is default is e-service our luster paper there's also the option for pearl paper if you want that you click that and it adds 30 percent to the total of the job order handling 
If you don't check anything in this box, we will ship the order to you however your account is set up. If you're a will call account, we will hold the job here for you to come pick it up. If you're a shipping, we will ship it to you. If you're a will call account and you want us to ship it instead, just check UPS ground and we'll ship it to you. Or if you're a UPS ship already and you want to do a will call, just check will call and you can come pick it up. Also on this area is the packaging and ship to individuals. If you ask for that option, you will need to put in the address for every image on the job and we will ship those images then directly to the clients homes that has to be checked only with individual packaging if you try to check bulk packing that is not an option it will not be able to be checked so individual packaging must be checked to use that service packaging options individual packaging every product for the individual is packaged and inserted into an envelope and boxed for you to deliver or shipped to the, to the individuals. Bulk packing is all sent to you bulk and it's up to you then to individually pack it the way you prefer. Both are options that you can use on any job. Foil stamping of folders. If you order folders in any of your packages that include the foil stamping option, you would just check the lines that you want text on and type the text here that you want to show up on those folders and we will gold foil that text onto the folders for you if it's ordered. Once you've got all your options checked it's then time to complete your order. To do that you come down to the bottom and say complete order and it's going to bring up this pop-up screen and you have three options. You can send the order via the internet right now. You can save the order to send later over the internet if you wanted to go and do another job and send both jobs later on you would use the save to send later. If you don't have an internet connection or you're having problems with your internet and you want to send the order to us on a disk, just say save to disk for alternate delivery and then you can burn the file that is saved to a DVD or CD and send that to us in the mail. Right now I will just check send order via the internet and say next. It will go through a saving process and tell you that it has been done and is sending. Say OK and you'll see this screen pop up. I'm inside the lab so it's not going to let me send. But if it was actually sending, you would see a status bar here that shows you that the job is actually currently sending. And when it's done, then you're safe to, to exit out the software. That's it for this software. It really is pretty straightforward. If you have any questions about it at all when you get into it, please don't hesitate to give us a call. We'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Thanks, and have a great day.